turn 18 so I cleared the magma forge was a difficult fight because of the lesser fire elemental but I reached my objective of getting to level 11 so I lost one lost soul oh uh, sorry one one wisp um, it was really difficult not to lose one because um, I can hardly kill the, the elemental without being in, in contact with at least one wisp and uh, it's doing 10 fire damage, 10 physical damage because of choking fumes I've got minus 2 defense, minus 2 uh, resistance it's difficult to uh, be guarding in contact of the elemental because usually I will need to have one strike uh, to flank him or something and so because of, of this uh, it means I'm at 7 defense and 11 resistance I think um, and uh, so I'm, I'm I would take something like 13, 14 damage from the elemental. So I would need to be full health to be able to to sustain the explosive deaths, and I'm not full health, as you will see. So I tried to split them as usual, using this wisp to split these two units and keep the two other units busy with two wisp and my leader. Um, and then the plan was to try to kill the prospector first uh, so that then I can deal with the elemental alone to avoid some bad interactions of flanking from both sides and uh, yeah my leader can sustain some amount of damage before dying as long as it's ranged damage because uh, the fire damage I've got 40% fire protection and I have base base resistance of 9 with the minus 2 so I uh, tried to stun him to stun the, the prospector but it failed and then to avoid him coming back and flanking me on both sides I sent one wisp to deal with it and hoping I would stun him with static shield because he had broken spirit so minus 2 resistance it was only at 5 resistance but it did fail again the static shield uh, a 65% chance that it failed so I took uh, 3 damages on the wisp then the elemental attacks me again on my leader and the other guys they try to attack the wisp uh, and so at that stage I decided to retreat, but actually I could have waited one more turn and moving there, but would that have changed much I, because I was more or less done with these two units. So this, the time two other units on the other side needs to come back, I should be done with the uh, elemental. Then the elemental went for the wisp because the leader was too far, I think, for him to attack it and actually it was an issue for me because that was one wisp that was full health that could have been able to uh, sustain uh, explosive deaths from the elemental but now it was not anymore 9 HP only and because I didn't want to use the phase to uh, escape the elemental because I may need the phase later on but I don't know so then I used the phase actually to escape to stay far enough from, from these two units and position my so that the wisp don't get attacked and I position my leader to take one hit from the elemental and then I try my luck um, killing it and stun don't, doesn't work on elementals and then the, the thing I wanted to avoid arrives and he, it engages me um, on melee which means if I kill him I'm going to blow uh, with explosive death so then I have no choice I need to send the wisp to uh, flank him and I was hoping uh, that if I bring him to low low HP he will not attack the wisp because that would kill him with static shield ah but actually okay I know why ne then I know why it didn't didn't work because static shield doesn't work on elementals I think so I brought him to 1 HP by doing 2 attacks instead of 3 as I could 
Yeah, static shield doesn't work on elemental. So bad calculation on my side. Then I was two versus two, so it was a bit tough. I uh, hesitated to retreat, but then I would not have been able to retreat again for the other fight. So I tried to do it like this. And so I needed to split them again and uh, use uh, the stand on the prospector because the engineer is, is quite dangerous with a flashbang. It can blind you and then you cannot use range attack anymore. So I put myself here on around this, this hole that can help to do a natural split. And I put myself at range of the, of the flash bomb, no, just outside of range of the flash bomb. And then I think I put myself at range of flash bomb to attract him here. And the leader stay out of range. And it's the closest unit to the prospector, so the prospector goes for the leader, but cannot reach it. And then... Ah oh no, actually I put myself at range, okay, alright. Forgot. Then I can, uh, because I put myself at range, so it attacks me, and then he, he has only seven resistance. Resistance, so I tried uh, a stun, and uh, if, even if it doesn't work, I, I still have 18 HP, so I can sustain it. And the stun works. Then I try to escape with the wisp, and give me time to finish the prospector, and then. I did a big movement to try to get my Wisp and Leader at the same place, but because I didn't have phase anymore, so it was even more complicated. It was a kind of cat and mouse game to get uh, the my two units nearby uh, to, to be sure that I have enough damage output to kill the, the, the engineer. And at some point, the engineer goes toward my leader, then I retreat, then move back again. And then, because flashbang is only once every two turns, it has a cooldown. So I let him use the flashbang on the wisp, so that he doesn't use it on the leader. And then I position myself just outside his range of blunderbuss, which is short range, so three X's. Then he cannot use blunderbuss. And then I just try to stun him, and if it doesn't work, I can stun the wisp. Which would probably die, but at least the leader doesn't die. But the, the uh, stun does work, so then it's done. Then I tried the trying to the fickle mammoth fight, but uh, too complicated with only three units and the uh, 40 X's, uh, 40 MP range uh, of the of the mermaid, plus the battle enchantment healing them. So I may try next turn again with one more wisp, uh, or not because actually it's quite a difficult fight I think. Then I can use this try to do one of these fights. So this has been cleared, so it means uh, Mr. Hawk is probably there. So I'm going to check on him. He's probably going to go there and clear this stuff and then move toward my throne. So, I so actually I should build more units there. Maybe rush this and start building some units. Um, I guess. But at the same time I'm going to attack him at his throne. So my wisp is just next to it, so next turn I should be able to scoot it. And uh, I regrouped my three units there plus the tiger, so the roaming independents did not attack me. And I'm sending them in three turns and I'm at his throne. Yeah, I think I should rush here and start building some units. Should probably get some additional range units. Now that I've got two two uh, crushers, um, but I don't have enough production. And in one turn, I will get more production. But still, won't be enough to finish uh, this in one turn. So maybe just a hatching. We'll see next turn. Uh, then with with this stack I moved here, um, didn't attack this turn to edge, edge my bet. If he comes back, I can try to catch him. 
Otherwise I'm going to move through here and also toward this run. Um, then I've got a tribute, so I'm going to take small army and maybe send them to on my throne. But they may arrive too late. But still, I guess that's the best thing to do. Because also I need I want to uh, send a settler in this area. Because this area I nothing. And then I, I would need to go all this way and I've got no army to clear here. Here it's Arctic and here there is Mr. Hawk so I cannot really go there. And here it's too close. So the best choice for me is there. Eventually my leader leveled up so I'm taking Master Illusionist as I said. So I'm invisible. Um, Growing to town, nice. Thanks for watching, see you next time.